Hello. It's good to be with you again today and to I'll take you through on on how to set up your Outlook or Microsoft Outlook or Gmail or something to be able to receive automated responses, notifications from Open Journal System. OJS has a come to them the features for notification of authors, editors, reviewers, and different players in the workflow, making it possible for everyone to be carried along in every single step of the of the process of publishing an article. Um, there's need for the editor to be to be able to set up his device to be able to receive notifications of submission on several other notifications and even authors to need to be able to set up their devices such that um, when there's a communication they can also be able to automatically receive them uh, open general system even they can work with different kinds of, of email it's works much better with customized emails it work, works seamlessly with most customized emails especially emails that can run on php mailer or sent mail script it, it works it works much better so as a as a policy we at a free scholar discovery we try as much as possible to ensure that all the emails that are used for the workflow are with the customized email of the journal so today i'm going to be taking you through on how you can set up your devices to be able to automatically receive such mails when an email is create when you create an email i've just created an email called test account test account so that i can be able to test run set up an email software on my system to be able to automatically receive and uh, receive mails from the the system from the open journal system deployment and also send out mails and so you can see that different settings here this is secure the secure ssl means that if you have your domain name has ssl that's secure socket layer then this is the, the setting that you should use if your domain name does not have ssl that is is based on just http then you can just use these other settings so i am going to take you through on how to configure your your software to be able to receive whether it's on phone maybe outlook on your phone or even your gmail app can be able to support different kinds of email so on my system right now i am using thunderbird it's, it's a linux uh, kind of system system for receiving mails so i'm using thunderbird and you could see it up here so i am going to take you through on how you can set up an email a new email in the system so let's go to we have account settings okay we have account settings and you can click on add account what you see on your own might be slightly different but the steps and the con what i'm interested in showing to you is what goes into where and the co different configurations that are that goes into different fields so in my own system it supports mail account chat account feed account news group account so our interest is mail account so if i click on that it opens up for me now in your own system you might see you if especially if it's on if it's if it's on the phone if it's on the phone you're going to see um, um, you're going to see Gmail, you're going to see Outlook, you're going to see um, Pop3, you're going to see IMAP, you're going to see different options. So what you select is Pop3. Pop3. So um, your full name, you just take your full name, I'm just going to use test. And the email is you're going to be this email that I have here, test account. I'm going to copy that test account and put it here that's the email then the password i use to create the account i'm just going to enter the password the password that was sent to you the password that was given to you for that particular email you enter it there and you click on continue 
and you wait for it to look up configuration. Uh, in this case, it has found my configuration. So I can just Kukuma, just I can just click on um, done and it's configured. But I'm not going to click on done. I want to go to do it manually so that we can actually see these things, how it works. Uh, so if you clicked on your device IMAP, if you click on your device IMAP, then if you check this, you are going to see the port that is used for IMAP is 993. If you click on POP3, if you click on this area, you're going to see POP3. Uh -huh. So, but in your own system, they might be clearly, you know, just drop out for you. So just pick either POP3 or IMAP. So in this case, if you choose, if you choose to go with POP3, both of them will be able to receive mails. But IMAP is more secure. So is the more current um, protocol so you can either use pop 3 pop 3 the, the port number for pop 3 is 995 for incoming server and the outgoing server if whether you choose to choose IMAP or pop 3 the outgoing server remains the same which is SMTP and the port number is 465 so in this case we're going to choose pop 3 and our port number don't forget is 995 can see that 995 now if you choose to use secure ssl to tls settings then you leave it to be that Se connection security leave it at that but if your domain name do not have ssl so you just come here and choose connection security type none just say none if it doesn't have a but of course you can see that it is not recommended because it is not secure so you have to try as much as possible to ensure that your domain name always has an SSL. So your, your username is your your email, while the password is the one that was used to create the account, this password. So username is your email, don't forget that, is your email, while the password is what was used to create the account. Then you now go to your outgoing server and you impute the you impute this is the, the the domain the server domain the server name for the outgoing server this was the server name for the incoming server so you can see it up here mail dot then the end the form then if you come down outgoing is mail dot then the end the form so you can see that smtp port is 465 465 so you can also see that connection security is ssl normal password normal password is going to inherit the password that you had entered there but depending on what you are using to create your own to set up your own you might have to impute the password again it might not inherit like this in your own system so you have to you might need to impute the password again so you just do that and move on so let me see what's in auto code that will be closed and i go Okay, let me let's just go ahead and click on done. So good. So with that, with that, the email has been created, and it is now downloading. If you look at the bottom, you can see downloading message, one of one. So after it has finished downloading, you can now be able to use the email and to check our email and be sure that we can receive emails from the site. So it has received one email. So we can take a look at the email that is received. We can take a look at the email that was received. So this is the account now. So you can see inbox, it has received one email into the account. So that is fully set up. Once you have set it up properly, the first email you're going to receive is this information that tells you how to configure devices to be able to receive mails from the system. 
So you can configure your phone, you can configure your laptop, you can configure your tablet, you can configure anything that has a mail app and you can receive mails from this from open journal system notifications you can receive all notifications without any problems so thank you for watching and i hope that was helpful do have a blessed day